Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I've come on here today to show... I can't remember your name, I'm so sorry. Dulcie maybe, or Diane, or Carol, or something. I'm so sorry darling, I can't remember. You were asked on Facebook today what the Kaiser Craft embossing and cutting thing would be like to buy. And I, did, I haven't got one of those, but I have a big shot. So I wanted to show you what it does, because you said you were new to... Um, all this sort of thing and you didn't know so this is what it looks like okay so this one but they I think they're blue now they're really pretty blue color I've had this since oh way back now a few, a fair few years and it um I can't remember now what it was at the time probably about 80 I mean about 80 dollars maybe something but when they have them at spotlight they get half price you can get them there and they're really good now you use the dies like this you asked me if i used the little die things that i used the other day to cut this and i did the things that i cut out that i put on the video yesterday or the day before were actually done on my scan and cut and that is a thing that you plug into the power and it just cuts it all out for you when you type in what you want to do and they're valued about oh six hundred dollars i think five to six hundred dollars um I probably haven't used it to, to its money's worth yet, but I probably will over the years, you know. You don't have to be playing with it all day. I thought you did at first, but then you don't. You can, you know, there's times when you might need it and, and the other times when you won't, see. So whatever um, suits you best, see. So the other day I did use this and I cut out the little leaves. I think I showed you the leaves. I don't know. Yes, that's right. I put them on with the mushrooms because this one all has, also had mushrooms on it. On the journal that I am working on in here, which is here look at that i found it straight away that was really different okay so this is it here and i cut out these mushrooms and little leaves and that with with this machine thing right um it would be when i want to do a lot i use the other one or i have different dies that i've had for a really long time that i still use in here so i've since got these mushrooms which are really cool that i bought i buy these on aliexpress and they're not very expensive and i also got a set of little houses you can't really see that they're little houses as yet these little tiny wiggly houses and they have st they came with stamps so that'll be nice and then i have butterflies now i bought all these things on on um aliexpress because i find that they're just as good as the ones that you pay a little bit of money for. If you want to have a lot, you know, you probably need to buy the ones that are a bit cheaper. But if you don't, it doesn't really matter. It's up to you. I think you can pay between four and seven and eight. Probably, you can pay a lot up to a lot of money with these. It just depends what brand that you get, I think. Um, I did buy a few expensive ones there at first. But anyway, so I'm going to show you now how I'm going to cut out these mushrooms, I think. I'm going to show you how this works so you will have a bit of an idea what you're looking at or what you wanted to what you want to buy and what it does well the thing that you want to buy is pretty much the same as this okay the Kaiser craft thing it does exactly I think exactly the same things as what this does okay so now I need to get a little piece of paper I have some here um, I moved away my glass thing because I didn't want this sitting on top of it this is a paper that I purchased the other day, and they didn't have, they had all colours but what I, the colours I wanted. I mean the green, he didn't send me the green. That's a sort of a creamy colour, and I suppose I could do the red, <coughs> or the pinky colour too. That's a funny looking colour mushroom, isn't it? Where's the red place? Maybe I didn't get red with this. We don't care what colour the mushroom is, do we? Yeah, doesn't matter. It can be purple. I have got some larger sheets here. But I did want to make those others. I didn't find the ones that's got... Um, if you just hang on, if you, sorry, but in a mini, I will be back with you when I find a piece of red. I really want a bit of red to um, make me mushroom and probably white. Don't have white on here, do I? No, nope, no white on that one. But I have white on the... I don't know, I bought all these papers wanting to get the right one and never did, see? That happens, doesn't it? It's a shame. Never mind. It's okay. This works for things. It's good for tags and stuff like that. It's just all these colours. See? No white in there either. I'm just going to do this up, use this other one for it. Now, of course, this will only cut things that are about six inches wide. <clears throat> I 
think six inches will go in there anyway I hope so I'm just going to cut this piece of 12 by 12 sheet in half okay so I can do many mushrooms and that fits does that fit yes okay so it comes with the machine comes with these plates now these have really been worn as you can tell so you get two plates and you get this um thingy here and no I'm not being paid to advertise this um but I just wanted to show you now I made some mistakes as you can see I've cut on that over the years by mistake it has different levels it shows you what thing to put in where righto um so what I'm going to use today is the, the thinlets these framelets I should say and they're only thin so you put this part in first okay then you put one of these um things in one of your little glass things and you'll put that in there then you get your mushrooms or whatever you want to cut out get your mushrooms out of the packet okay and I'm gonna leave them stuck together because I don't mind now you can put them in that way because that's what you would do best you put them down so this part here's face down that part there face down that's going to go through isn't it yeah. um put another put a piece of this on right see this with this one you can cut out one thing at a time with the other thing that i've got you can make heaps of them and and i really wanted that one so my husband bought it for me for me christmas present a few years ago okay so that's that one now because this has been used a bit over the time, I want to get a piece of stuff that you call a shim, a shim, a shim. <laughs> I think it's a shim. It's a shim. Now, for the shim I'm going to use, it's just a piece of paper or a little bit of thin card or something. And I don't want to wreck anything, but I probably won't be able to find anything to put as a shim, will I? This will be the issue. I won't want to put anything in there now. Um, come on, come on, come on. I better stop yelling at you too. I'm, I'll, I'll put this in because this is a piece of... Um, file folder now I'm going to just put it over there because it only has to go over the top of that bit all right now I'm going to turn it around so I can turn turn the handle and usually if you hear it cracking which I can't that means it's cut through it anyway but it will have and now I'm going to bring it back because it's only at the top that I've done that okay I've sat here for hours doing this <laughs> Yeah, well, after a while, it probably wears off a little bit because it's not, it's not it's a bit hard work, you know. <laughs> and then you get your pieces of mushroom. Look at that in that ducky, right? And then you got all these little dots, but you can do with whatever you like. Now I'm going to do. I'll probably do run through one more set of this one, and then I'll do the white bits, and then I can add the white dots. Or put a white sheet underneath it just a white piece of paper but I think I'll just put the little dots in there so I'm going to put another one I need somewhere to put it so I'm not going to lose this on you that place doesn't exist in here it really doesn't there we go now I'm going to put the glass piece underneath first now this gets cut because you know it, it's you know it's bound to you're bound to put it on the wrong way <laughs> occasionally i mean you know it just happens i guess but with that having this shim in there too helped me because i think you see what i'm doing because like i said mine's probably they might need to be recalibrated and i don't know how you would do that but we're going to push this up through here a bit further so you're not even got going under yet and now we're going to turn no not inside not in get that in there so right now we're going it has it is a little bit there now it's cracking that doesn't mean it's breaking that means it's cutting and it actually is sitting one leg is sitting off the table so it's a little bit wobbly but i have a small space to work with here righty up <coughs> now i should have two more <coughs> bits of mushroom i will <coughs> And see if you have a lot of dyes it's stuck to it but it'll come out if you have a lot of dyes and you have a, you know a color that you want to make you can put a whole lot of different ones on here you just don't have to use one at a time because that would tend to be a bit 
tedious after a while, wouldn't it? You know, <laughs> just do just doing one. So what I did was get together things that I wanted to cut out of the different of the paper. You know, if you want, you get all your leaf dies and things out and other stuff as well. Now I need a pin or something. Actually, they have a little holes. See, pin cushion. Here we go. Um, they have little holes there where you can push this, push that through, and then it comes out for you. Look, see. And then it'll come out. There's a little hole there, and that just pushes it out if it gets caught. And there you have another mushroom. Or two, one fell down there. Okay. Righto. So that's the that's that one. And I'll show you now because I'm going to do the white piece so I can add it to it. And then I'll just show you some of the things. I'll do an, I'll emboss one for you. I'll emboss something. Right, now put that back in that bag. What have I done with the bag? Oh, people, if you could see how much stuff I've got around me. I don't know why I did this, but I might do the house on the red. The little house is red too. Now what I would do with these little houses, because they're only tiny, can't see what I'm doing here. Um, <clears throat> I've got these tiny little houses. I'm definitely going to leave it all in one piece, like that. Okay, and there's clouds. And there was other things too that I didn't. Oh, but there's all these bits. So these bits are not actually going to have to stay in there. They'll come out. That's a flower. That's a flower. Anyway, you just go along and see what you can build out of that. Where's my piece of stuff? Here we go. And I'll put the little houses through here. That that piece, right? Your paper piece. And what I do is, because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven houses, I'd have to make lots of different coloured bits to go in, but we'll see what happens anyway when this comes out, what what it turned out like. And we'll have a bit of this on here as well, our shim, piece of shim, can be anything, this is like a bit of file folder, and it only has to be over the top of that, because <coughs> I'm only going to be putting that bit through. Sorry about the camera, ah. right now this is cracking. And hard to do, but it's okay. Nobody panic. When I was first doing it, oh dear, I was and so upset because I'd done this to me um, things. But that happens because you're going through there with all this pressure on it, I suppose. Okay. Well, these would be interesting. I think. Actually, you know what? I thought they were small, uh, larger. <laughs> by the little thing <laughs> accidentally by the little thing I was expecting them to be a little bit bigger but if I'm going to put these in a row and something they're probably taken up now the, sometimes you will tend they tend not to cut it in certain places but usually they'll come out pretty good they usually come out pretty good right oh, no, so there's a cloud in that wee and there's a bit of a house and he's got something in the center of it I guess that could be a window, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I've... Um, there might be a door and a window in this one too. But they are there to make all different shapes. So there's a... don't know what that's going to turn out like, but anyway. It's all trial and error. Hopefully I can put something together with it before I, you know, get disheartened with that. It's a bit small and not really wonky like I wanted it to be. <laughs> Okay, so let's do a emboss something. Well, we'll emboss this piece too. Right, I'll cut this out. Where's my scissors? Come on, where's the scissors? Here we are. Right. Now, <clears throat> so I hope you get the general idea of what these things do. See, so you know, all right? Oh, I'll keep everything out of there. Now, I have some embossing folders. Storage for my bomb things is not really uh, grand at the moment. I have everything in all directions at this time. Okay, where are they? There. Yeah. Now I'll just show you this. Um, these are 
these are a thicker die and these cut fabric it goes through there as well cut fabric so that's a really good thing they're a tiny bit expensive but because they've got all this nice padding and they're good heavy duty things you put that through and it'll do your fabric and I've never had a complaint with that it's absolutely gorgeous and I do have some embossing folders here um, haven't used that one with a bird on it probably haven't used half of them but that's what these are right so they're, they're embossing folders and they uh, are not very expensive about seven or eight dollars I've never bought any from um, overseas you can get them this is from some sites in Australia where they have you know selling things different things there's a uh, all different sorts of stuff you can get on them to emboss a size of about a card I think these are can't get this open I'll figure out how it opens come on <laughs> now well look I don't care <laughs> stay shut there we go it goes that way that's probably why I look now you can either put it through and just have emboss on one side like this right oh now if you want to do both sides you push the thing onto the back Okay, because you can feel that this is um, this is up, this is bubbly, and this one's down. So we need to put it through with this one up here, and hopefully I know what I'm talking about, and I'll show you how to do this. But you can't use all this thing like it is. Okay, on the picture it shows you they're the sort you can put through that with them pages, and here is your embossing folder thing one right. So you're going to have to have this open. I have a bit, a bit broken here, so it's all broken. It's oh, it got dropped accidentally by somebody else actually. Um, one of the kids or something dropped it. Uh, and so you put your paper in there and you cut that through. So you got both sides done. But I only want to do one side really. So we're going to try one side and see what happens. Okay, just for the just for today because I was thinking about it. You see, so. So we're going to put that bit down. We got we got it open here, right? This is a, this is opened up, right? And put that in there. We've done together with a bit of sticky tape. It still works. Still works. We put one of those glassy pieces on. Then we put the bird on with this piece with that piece there facing up that way. Is that right? Look, we're going to find that out in a minute, aren't we? We really will. So let's go with this, and I don't need to put the shim through. I don't think I'm going to keep hitting the leg of that thing there. Come on, because you have to start it off. It's you know, it's not going to go by itself. It's going to give it encouragement to get under there. I don't think this is going to work because I didn't put both of both of them on. Go back. That didn't work because I didn't have it folded on both sides see so what you need to do is put one side of this either the paper either side right oh like that so you've got the smooth bit on the outside then you put that you got it straight Sonia a straight edge you put that in between those two in between them two things and then you put that through now Sorry about bumping this camera. This is not easy to do in a in small situation. But then I don't want to be in a, in a place where I can't reach anything either. That won't do any good. You know, I'll take it back. You can either take it back or you can just look to keep winding it through. But I ain't got nowhere to wind it through to. It won't fit. I just hope that it didn't move too much so it's still going back in the same place. Now this card that I'm doing with it, with this, is not very good. It's only a very thin stuff, not a very good quality one I don't think see look at that, it's all white it's very disappointing because the inside of the card is white, plus it did cut it oh no it didn't cut it, because the inside of the card's white it come out like that see how that's the part that, that's the inside the part that goes in, but this is the right side here and maybe if I used a different sort of better card it won't do that. Well, it won't do it because you won't be able to see the white on it. And that looks, that turned out really good. I really like how that went. Look at that. Actually, it mightn't look bad, but I'm not a big fan of red, so I can't believe I did that and I don't like it. I don't like red. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's just try one of these others and then that'll be torture for use for enough to today, won't it? Actually, we want to do the white mushroom pieces, don't we? So I'm going to have to cut this in half for it to go through there. Very disappointed with this paper I bought. But what, oh, it's supposed to be a light card stock, but it's not very good. We've all got marks all on the side of it and everything. Look at this. Where did I see that? I just seen it then. Must be on the piece I threw over here. Could be my eyesight. Oh dear. I could there, look, there's muck all along there. I can see it. I'm not happy. Anyway, so we're gonna put this through here. I am so hot in here. I my husband put the heat on, I might have to take my socks off. Just give me a second and I'll see if I can get my socks off. <laughs> My feet are too hot, and that makes your body too hot, doesn't it? I've got too many clothes on today. Come on, please, come off. <laughs> oh, this is not an easy thing to do, you know, when you can't get down under the table to do it. <laughs> got one. There's two. <laughs> Pull my trouser leg down too far in the process. Right. <laughs> Now we'll be back and dressed and stuff. Phew. I oh, know, so that's a bit of an idea for that. Now I'll just do my other mushroom. <clears throat> Did you see where I put my mushroom, everybody? Where's the mushroom? It is. Nobody panic, it's just here beside me. I actually put it where it was supposed to go. No, and it fell out the bottom. Ah, oh, it fell out the bottom. Oh dear. Gotta get it. That's not a good idea. I'm something that's opened at the wrong end, or I might have just did that by accident. Okay, right. Now I've got to have that piece down, and I've got to have that piece on. I've got the white bit, a little piece stuck in here. I'll poke that out. The really, the ones that have got really, like a filigree sort of look to it, is that what that word is, are uh, not my favourite ones to do. Where's the other one of these? Have I got it under here? Yes, oh God. clever today. It's in there. Um, they're not that easy to come apart. Uh, people find that they struggle a bit with them. I'll just show you one in a minute. Before I, I won't, um, oh, come on, I've got to actually give it a bit of a push. It's got to start off at the beginning, doesn't it? Uh, this is cream, but it doesn't matter. No, it's not what. <laughs> I was looking at the thing. Oh, dear, oh, dear, I'm so sorry about this bashing going on here. I hope that you other ladies can see that there's a, <laughs> there's a good thing in it as well. Okay, now, there's a... Oh, I can't even see what I'm doing now. I'm not even in the shop. In the hole where the mushroom was. And then I've got this here piece. I don't know what I did with my pin, but this thing will do. And you just poke this out. And the mushroom piece. You just hit that top bit. And that'll come off like that. And then the little one. As you see, in some some cases, they're not very hard to pop out. In other cases, it's a little bit difficult. There's a hole there, though, for you to push on so you can get out. Just don't press too hard, you know. Just be careful. But it's really it's really nice, eh? And really a good thing. And I might put this up on Facebook, too, I think, because... Uh, well, I don't think I have to. I just wanted um, just to see what it was like anyway to do because I think I, I really do like it myself and then if you wanted to instead of putting the little dots in you could just put a piece of paper underneath of the colour shape cut out the shape of this top bit and put it under there anyway that will be on another day I will show you that but I just wanted to give you a look at something else what was it did you remember Oh yes, it's a really, really tricky little, 
tricky little ones. Let me see. Here. I did buy a few of these on the internet. Um, not from these are not from over in China, but I found that these these little tiny things here, well they're stuck in there, but I don't think these worked as good as what I wanted it to when I did it because I was, you know, that bit there's good, the circle's good, but these little bits, cutting them bits out, you know, I don't think it does that good a job. You know, I wasn't very impressed with it anyway. So there was a few of them that I got. They're not they're not bad if you get the right thing. You know, you've got to get the right... These are um, Randa Spellbinders. And I think they cost me about $7 each, those ones. Um, there's another one. Oh, it's but I do have a lot of really good ones that I have not were disappointed in one bit whatsoever. You know, there's, I have a nice packet here with some in it that I use. Oh, yeah. There's me tag ones, but I've got um, on here, and I just I'll put this, these here in the back. Now, these ones didn't work very good. These were doilies. They were doily ones, and they're still in there. Because <laughs> I couldn't get them out, obviously. Obviously, I couldn't get them out of there, That, all that, which was a shame, because it was all stuck, and it tore, and it wouldn't come out, so... It just depends, you know, you want to... Well, these ones from AliExpress have been all really good, so... Um, and the, this one here is amazing. That is absolutely gorgeous, that one. It, it's worth buying. I mean, you've got... i got these tags here. They're probably about nine to ten dollars and you get all them tag um, things you, you know you get all these you see they're the sort of thing you can put a whole lot in at one time and, and print them off I love these packets that I've got to put them in but you can't find any more so I've got them all sorted out like this but anyway so I hope that helps you to understand a little bit about what these are that, we're, that I've been using and other people use and that you will find something and have great fun with I bought this one on the internet reasonably cheap. Now it's a really thick one too and it will cut out it will cut out the bird and all the things with fabric. Fabric and felt, a card, stock, really good. Cuts out really, really good. So there you go, that's that one. Okay, so I hope you have a good time with yours. Oh, here's me more mushroom ones. Here's the mushroom ones that I didn't do today. There's the ones I did the other day. I wondered what I did with them. Oh, they're here. Don't be panicking now. So they're there. Okay. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you're all having a good day. And thanks for subscribing to my channel. And I hope that that gives um, a bit of a an insight on what these machines are. Okay. The other one I can't show you that yet because it's... But if you go on to... Um, YouTube, there is lots of um, videos up there on the scan and cut. That's what's called, scan and cut. Okay, so thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.